styles are powerful creative tools made even more so by illustrators' methods of displaying, sharing, and organizing them. Specifically, in this clip, you'll learn importing graphic, paragraph, and character styles from other files, sharing styles with other Illustrator users, using CC libraries to store, reuse, and share styles to yourself and others, cleaning unused styles from documents. Let's start with importing styles. There's no need to reinvent the wheel with each new document in a series or larger project. If you've already defined styles in one Illustrator document, you can import those styles selectively or wholesale into other Illustrator files. Start a new document in Illustrator. Any new document will do. Now go to the Paragraph Styles Panel's flyout menu and choose Load Paragraph Styles. When the open dialog appears, navigate to this module's demo files and choose Sample Giving Guide End. Click Open. It might look like nothing happened, but cast your gaze back to the Paragraph Styles panel. All the Paragraph Styles from Sample Giving Guide End are now in your new document ready to use. The Character Styles panel has a similar command on its flyout menu, but don't choose it. Instead, select Load All Styles. Repeat the process, selecting Sample Giving Guide End and clicking Open. The Load All Styles command gets you paragraph and character styles at the same time. Loading graphic styles is slightly different. As you can see from the Graphic Styles panel menu, there's no Load command. Well, there isn't a command called Load. Instead, it's called Open Graphic Style Library. From this submenu, choose Other Library, and then choose the document whose graphic styles you want to bring into the current one. You can share your styles with coworkers and collaborators just as easily. Just send them the Illustrator file or files containing the styles. If you don't want to send a file with in-use drawings and text objects, load all the relevant styles into a new blank Illustrator file, save it, and send that. You can even put the document on the network as your corporate style guide or client or project style guide so colleagues with network access can periodically load the freshest paragraph character and graphic styles for the company, client, or project from it. For remote workers, clients, vendors, and other entities, you can share the AI style source documents from Dropbox, Box.com, your Creative Cloud files, or any similar service. That brings me to CC Libraries. Open the Libraries panel from the Window menu. If you're asked to log in, log in with your Creative Cloud credentials or Adobe ID. This is the Creative Cloud CC Libraries panel, though it's only called Libraries in Illustrator for the time being. Through the Libraries panel, you can access common project assets in Illustrator, InDesign, Photoshop, and other applications. CC Libraries live in the Creative Cloud and are attached to your Adobe ID. They'll follow you around, making anything stored in them available to you in any CC application that supports CC Libraries and the type of assets stored within, even in a whole range of Adobe mobile apps for iOS and Android. In my library, you can see my brand color swatches, my logo, and yes, a couple of character styles. Any character styles you store in your CC libraries, you can use in Illustrator and InDesign and add more from either application. You can also add paragraph styles. There are a couple of ways to add styles to your CC libraries. First, on the Character Styles panel, highlight a character style and then click the Creative Cloud shaped button in the bottom left corner. That style is now in your CC libraries in the cloud and speeding its way to every device and application and app you've connected to your Creative Cloud account. The Paragraph Styles panel has the same button. The Graphic Styles panel, alas, does not. As of the time of this recording, you can't yet store graphic styles in CC libraries. You can store graphics and entire vector objects naturally with their appearances, but you can't store a style along with them. Store such objects by dragging them directly into the Libraries panel. Or you can click the Add Content button at the bottom of the Libraries panel. Do that with a text object selected like so, and the panel offers to add to your CC Libraries the object itself, called Graphic, but also its color swatch and paragraph and character styles. It can add all of those to the library in one shot. It even offers to create and add character and paragraph styles describing the text when you haven't actually pre-created character and paragraph styles in Illustrator. Any items you don't want to add, just clear their corresponding checkboxes. 
Once you have some styles in CC Libraries, right-clicking gives you several useful options. You can rename or delete the style, copy or move it to another library, or make a duplicate. You can also apply the character or paragraph style to the text in the selected object on the artboard, or merely add it to the character styles or paragraph styles panels, basically importing styles from CC Libraries. You can also share a link to the style or other piece of content. Depending on the privacy settings of your library, you may be able to share it outside your organization or only within. Finally, with all this importing and adding, we've accumulated quite a few styles we probably don't need in this document. All three style panels have on their flyout menus a command that makes cleanup of unused styles a breeze. Pick a panel and choose from the menu, Select All Unused. Illustrator will then select all styles that are not actively used in the current document. Illustrator won't select any style used on any artboard on any layer, visible or not, so don't worry that you'll lose something you're actually using. Now just click the trash bucket and confirm your choice to delete all the selected styles to clear them away.